So today, No Boot Unplugged goes on the road. We are here at Sticky Studios with Nina Nesbitt. Firstly, massive congratulations on Stay Out charting so high. It's amazing. What was it like to have your single do so well? Yeah, pretty special for me. It's what I've kind of always kind of aspired to do when I was younger. So it's good that it's gone top 40 and that people liked it. So you're very exciting. Because you've been the talk of the music industry for like a, such a long time now. We've all heard about you and been excited. And then suddenly it just turns, it goes up again um, with Stay Out and everything. I mean, what's it been like becoming so successful so quickly? Um, I don't like see it as that at all. Like I'm still nowhere near where I want to like end up being. So I think like everything that I've been doing over the past year and a half is like a small step to being hopefully where I want to be so yeah. stay out charting in the top 40 is definitely like a big step forward yeah. because I'd only been in the iTunes chart before so yeah every kind of EP that I've released has been a step forward so just keep going yeah so does that mean you have like a game plan then if it's not exactly where you want to be right now um well I'm I don't really have like any limits to my ambition I want to be as successful as I can be so I think I'm one of those people that will never be like fully content. I just keep going and keep wanting more all the time. So if it's top 40, I want top 20. Mm -hmm. If it's top 20, I want top 10. If it was top 10, I'd want number one. It's just, that's just how like, I work. So yeah, always kind of wanting the next thing, definitely. So you're recording your debut album now. Do you like sort of bring all that into the studio as well? Or do you try and just forget all that um, ambition in terms of, of chart success? Um, I don't really, when I'm making music, I don't think about charting. Like, charting to me is not the most important thing. The most important thing is having music that means something to you or can mean something to other people. Um, so when I'm writing and recording, I just think, uh, does this mean something to me? Does this mean something to other people? And, yeah, and then if it's a good song, then people will like it and it will chart. So, yeah, I think that's kind of what it's about more. It's exciting. How's it shaping up then, the album? Yeah, good. Um, only got a week left now, so it's so like, ah! But yeah, uh, it's getting closer to being finished and it's taken about a year worth of coming in and out of the studio um, to make and I think... That's actually the barbecue that's, <laughs> that's going on at that. We're going to have a barbecue afterwards. Barbecue, it's 2013. It's a pre-celebration for Nina's album being finished. In a week, you're going to have like a massive party afterwards. Um, yeah, we were actually planning on having a big night out in London. We had a night out last night for Stay Out, which was really fun. So what happened. did you do? <laughs> um, <laughs> we were all at my producer's house. Um, There's about eight of us, and just had a few drinks, and then <laughs> decided to get um, on his kids' scooters. There was about eight of them in the garden. These like, you know, scooters yeah. that used to go on with you. So we took them out onto the road and we were like, this, the roads were quiet, so we were like going about on our scooters and then playing the trust game as well, where you stand on a table and then people make a basket and you you fall and they catch you. Luckily, everybody <laughs> got caught. <laughs> so that's beautiful country fun. <laughs> it was really innocent and nice. Um, what about um, the creative process then? So when you go into the studio, do you have like a set formula when it comes to writing and recording or is it more of a organic, let's see what happens type of thing? Um, yeah, it totally depends really on the day. Sometimes I'll just be in my room back in Edinburgh. That's how I started off really writing and a song would just come out really and then I'll take it into the studio. I make like little demos in my home studio thing. It's not really a studio, it's just, like yeah. a microphone. <laughs> uh, and then I bring it here and then we kind of add things to it. Or I'll be in like a co-writing session and we'll come up with ideas and it'll turn into a song and then put it into the studio. So I guess it's kind of like it goes writing, demo, proper recording. It has that kind of formula, but yeah, it's pretty relaxed. Because I was going to ask how much has it changed from being in your bedroom recording those covers to now, but actually you're still sort of having that aspect of your life, bringing it to the studio afterwards. Oh yeah, I, had, I wrote a song last week in my bedroom, my studio. I love doing that. It's where I think I write best because it's just me on my own cut off from everything and I like look out my window and you see like lots of Scottish hills and it's, it's quite tranquil so it's a good place to write definitely. Um, so can you tell us what the album's called or give us any detail? Um, the album it's is like named <laughs> but I'm not allowed to say the name of it yet. Um, when do you think we'll be able to hear it? 
Uh, the album or yeah. the name? Oh, uh, but I have an album and name. <laughs> okay, yeah. um, the name probably in the next couple of months. Okay. And the album after summer. After summer. Wow, and what are your plans for the summer? Lots of festivals and everything? Yeah, lots of festivals. Yeah. Um, playing. Uh, again, I can't even announce them all, which is <laughs> annoying. But festivals with no. Yeah, right. lots of <laughs> yeah. lots of good festivals. Um, playing tea in the park. It's like my hometown festival. Yeah. And board masters, um, barn on the farm, and then some other big ones, which I'm very excited about as well. So yeah, it'll be good. And another single coming out start summer as well. And more immediately, you're going to be at Novia Unplugged on the 28th of April for our first birthday. Yeah. You're the best person to have there with us. Thanks so much for talking to us. <laughs>